Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's the Talkie Box Podcast. It's everywhere you want to be. No, it's it's only you, only I'm, right here. I'm thinking something sexual. I think you're all right. right. <laughs> awesome <laughs> butt play. <laughs> Reminds me of our last episode. Hmm. Jeremy didn't get to hear that story. You can watch it on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> when the episode gets up, yeah. I don't think it's up at this time. Needless to say, uh, Dave's scared of butt play, <laughs> or just anything up his butt. <laughs> Or near his butt. If I like, if I'm touching his butt, he goes no, and I'm just like, but it's just your no. butt cheeks. But it's like it. It sounds like a no, where he's not really being defiant, <laughs> just as so much as he's like, he's like telling a little kid they can't have the lollipop at That's the store. How it is. Like no, put it back. <laughs> put you your hand you out of my pants. Put your hand back. You can't have that yet. Yep. Yet. I'm your host, Dave, the one they've been talking about. <laughs> And with me tonight is Jackie. Blah, 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 blah. And Justin. <laughs> hey. And Jeremy Adam. Hi. I feel like that Howdy. sound that Jackie made was probably a little terrifying to Dave. Yeah. <laughs> After all the butt play talk. Right. <laughs> Moving on from At that. At least it's not scrape the leg. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to scrape that with the fangs. No, thank you. Are you sure? <laughs> if the licking comes with it. <laughs> Just scrape and lick. <laughs> <laughs> You can get a little cape to do it with, you know, scraping leg. <laughs> oh my god, is that is that gonna be your couple's costume this year? <laughs> what, Grim and Dracula? Yeah. No, fangs in a butt. Oh. <laughs> 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 maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'll think about that one. So have you guys thought about doing a couple's costume this year? I don't, I haven't thought that far ahead at all. My birthday's I, coming up, I haven't even thought that far ahead. So. That's fair. Yeah, he, he doesn't have a birthday present for me. Mm. Yeah, her birthday's after mine, so I get to see, like, what she gets me, and ah, then make a decision. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if she gets you something really nice, you know how much money to save. Mm -hmm. He kind of actually already knows one of his presents so far. Yeah. Well, apparently there's, like, a bigger surprise. Black or dick. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I have another idea. <laughs> of course you do. Um, <laughs> God. We're gonna make it throwbacks. <laughs> it's, it's it'll be just like you know the uh, winter fun story. Oh, was, I hope not. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah, so. the butt play story was a lot funnier. <laughs> so it makes sense to harken back to it a little more often. Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, I was thinking earlier today about who all was going to be here tonight, and uh, I mean, Jeremy's going to be here, and I was like, I was remembering like the first time that Jeremy came on the show, um, because the way the way that Jeremy became part of the show was that he and I used to work together mm -hmm. at this restaurant where he still worked. We worked in the kitchen. We were, we worked uh, we were grill cooks, and we we worked together for a couple months, I think, and uh, we you know we we kind of bonded over like. TV and movies and comic books and nerdy stuff in general. Yeah, and, the stuff we uh, talk about. And I had I had mentioned I think I'd mentioned uh, Talkie Box a little bit. At you some point said at some point yeah, you you did a podcast because yeah. I asked like why you didn't work a uh, Tuesday evenings or something. Right. And and then I was like, hey, do you want to be on the show? And he's like, yeah, all right, cool. You know, he he also wasn't working Tuesday nights. And mm -hmm. I was like, hey, you want to come be on the show? He's like, yeah. So he came out and he was on and he, and he did the show and everything. And later he told me that. Um, his uh, his parents were a little like weary of him coming out here, and at first I was like, "That's weird. I don't understand why." And then I remembered, like, "Oh, I'm an adult <laughs> that asked their teenage son to come to his house well, to make a I video." Get it. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it, I get that you would forget that because when you look at Jeremy, he does not look. Oh yeah, that's like yeah. A teenager. That is my favorite thing to do. Is <laughs> well, like. Everyone I work with, no one's gotten it right. No one's gotten gotten close. They'll mm -hmm. be like, "Hey, how old are you?" And I'll just be like, "Oh, you know, I, I'm they'll 20." Like, and they'll be like, "25." Yeah. Yeah. And like, they're like, "No." I'm like, yeah, I mean, not to tell you. <laughs> or like, "Hey, you gonna come out drinking with us later?" I'm like, "I would love to, but that's not legal." <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I used to have that where, like, I, people used to mistake me for being older. 
mm-hmm. all the time, and now I feel like it, it's finally capped itself. Like it's because it's now not you're the, that age. Now or? I'm that age. <laughs> yeah. Like people are like, "How old are you, Justin? Like 28, 29? I'm like, "Nope, twenty three. <laughs> and just like it was that way for a while. I'm like, "Hey, mm-hmm. guess how old I am? What, twenty eight, twenty nine? No, younger than that. That's right." And now it's like, hey, guess how old I am? 29? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they got it right. <laughs> Shit. I was the opposite because because I was people always thought that I was younger than I was. I was going to say, mm-hmm. that's the exact Until same Until I started getting the silver hair. And then people were like, what are you, like, uh, 45? Like, fuck you. Goddamn. <laughs> it's my favorite old. thing. Yeah. But for me. Silver fox. Mm. For me, it's always been that people thought, like, I know that I'm young already. But, like, people think I'm, like, still in high school. That's how young they think I am. Like, I was talking to an old, like, at the restaurant that I was working at before, there was, like, an elderly couple, and they are like, oh, so you're going to be starting uh, college soon, right? And I was like, yep. How old do you think I am, sir? 16? Yeah? Something like that? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, no, it's a school day, and it's the middle of the day, but I'm here working. <laughs> like... It's Tuesday. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> it's eleven thirty a.m. But no, I just lie to my guests all the time now. Now I just say like, "Yeah, I'm going to be an, an education major." Or right. like a, I'm going to nursing school. I do that one too. I love <laughs> it. They get so happy. Mm-hmm. It makes them happy <laughs> to know the young people are yeah. not serving tables and that's all they're doing. Yeah. I remember when I when I was serving, I would get a lot where I'd introduce, like, hey, my name's Dave. And they'd be like, my son's name is Dave. And I was like, we probably don't know each other. <laughs> <laughs> or, I'd be like, or I'd just be like, tell him I said, hey. <laughs> or, or it'd be like, uh, yeah, no. Here, get my number. Be- we'll hang out. Like, <laughs> I don't care. It'd be like... No, yeah, no, I know him because we all have meetings together and we shit talk you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But is he an AA? He's an AA, right? Yeah, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> in a, yeah, no, I'm there too. Um, nothing against people who are in AA or NA. No. Good job. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Tell so me Jeremy's more. Jeremy's young, and uh, his parents think I'm a creep. Probably. Well, no, it was the. But I mean, you I, are a creep. I wonder what <laughs> because they think I had. Um, mentioned, you know, you before mm. and how, like, I had talked about that. Because at the time, you know, I was, like, 19 and you were, like, 35. At least However old almost, you are. Yeah, twice my age. I'm still 35. <laughs> <laughs> almost twice aged. my yeah. age. You've aged so drastically. Yeah. yeah. But that was the part that they were just like, oh, he's almost twice our son's age. Right. And he's going to go hang out over there. It's just <laughs> like, they just thought that was kind of weird. Like, they don't, they don't care anymore because, mm. you know. Right, just do but like turn on find my friends, <laughs> make sure we can see where you are, and 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 text us his address. Yeah, but it was so weird to me when I was like, you you said your parents were a little weird about, it, and I was like, why? Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. yeah, no, I get it. Yep, that makes sense. You're creepy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like you know, do they working watch together. The show? No. So like they don't. For the best. Yeah, no, no. But um, it'd be really funny if they didn't watch the show and they were just like, "Oh, so it's a regular thing." Him going over <laughs> to this older man's house. <laughs> Jeremy, is there something you want to tell us? Like, oh no, <laughs> like, you, just, you have to watch the whole series. The website's p o r n h u b. Yeah, it's kind of impressive. They got thousands of videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been doing this a long time. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> But no, I, I've, and I've always <laughs> kind of been this because I've typically working in restaurants and stuff. I often find myself working with people who are younger than me, but we have the same job, mm-hmm. and so you kind of like just see them as your peers, mm-hmm. and and you don't think about the fact like, oh, you're a child. Mm-hmm. Um, not that you're a child, but like some people no, I've worked I, with I get, absolutely <laughs> are. Yeah, I get that too because you remember Austin, right? Yeah. Well, he's the same age as my brother, and mm-hmm. me and Austin are pretty good friends, and I forget about that. Like, oh. He's as old as my younger brother. Yeah, I was That's like weird. 16 or something, right? Like 17. I 17 love now? Austin. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> Shout out, Austin. Does he watch the show? I wish. You should tell him watch the show. He doesn't, I don't think, nobody at work knew that you did a podcast well, when I went some, there. Some people one person did. did, but I don't think anyone who did is, like, there. Yeah. Like, the people you worked with are still there, but, like, not anyone who knew you did Right. That. And it's a very selective group mm-hmm. of our of our acquaintances that find out that we have a podcast. Right. We just kind of hope that the internet, like, we take the internet by storm. Right. And you guys just fall in love with us, and then our friends and family realize that we do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what it has become is, yeah, I do a podcast. Oh, really? What's it called? 
talkie box. Can I watch it? I've been asked that question before. <laughs> Do you uh, have a computer? Can I watch it? No. Yeah. It's all locally stored. We just keep it all up in Dawsonville. So yeah. we're going to release it here in about six years. <laughs> and uh, that's when it's going to be available it's for It's going to be a documentary. It's a, drive, it's a drive-in movie kind of situation. you got to come here to watch it. Oh yeah. The world's first ever offline podcast. <laughs> Tune in to the documentary. Yeah. We for, put up a great show this week, guys. I can't wait for you to see it in three years. <laughs> for me, it's always been like with, when you know when talking to people at work. Like I'll tell the people I'm really close with, but then there's a lot of people I don't really care if they know, mm -hmm. um, and to a point like I don't want them to know, right. um, and because sometimes I might be talking about them because mm -hmm. they're terrible yeah. people. Yeah. Um, but it was also you know having having managers and stuff. I don't necessarily want them to see you know, the kind of stuff that we talk about in here, because sometimes it's not the kind of stuff they want their employees to be talking yeah. about. NSFW. Yeah. So, well, that is the good part about working, you know, in the kitchen, in the mm -hmm. back. We can kind of get away with talking about whatever. Right. You know, because everyone does it. So it wouldn't matter yeah. if a, you know, manager or something's all like, oh, okay, I talk the same way. <laughs> None of their business. Yeah. Unless we want it to be their business. But it's our business. Mm. Unless business. they sponsor us. Yep. You want to be a piece? You want you want a piece? Sponsor us. You can go I mean, to uh, my mailbox and sponsor us. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just really? give us money, money directly. I really, really, really just want people to come up to our mailbox outside the house and just be like slipping in money. Just <laughs> you I, I feel you like I'd, I'd, I, I just no. envisioned like a whole bunch of dudes in suits with briefcases, <laughs> yeah. just like standing over there with like contracts. Be like, you said mailbox for sponsoring. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I a, if you want to just time. sign that for me, <laughs> is this the right place? So. Can I just have this? Can this just be mine? No, no that's mine. <laughs> we can share it if you want. You can have this water. Okay, no. I think you guys are already sharing it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Water um, it's just a little too late. It's where fish go to die. So, do you guys watch the uh, the Marvel shows on Netflix? One I do. One. Daredevil. Daredevil. Okay. I do, but I have not watched the second season of Jessica Jones mm -hmm. or the second season of Luke Cage yet. Okay. And I've dabbled. Right. Mostly, you watch them when I'm watching them. I think. No, I have sat down and actually watched. Uh, DC ones, one. yeah, like, uh, but nothing of the Marvel universe. Mm -hmm. I, I'm about halfway through season two of Luke Cage, and I've seen all the other Marvel Netflix shows and stuff, so I've been impressed with those for the most part. But yeah, n new season of Luke Cage is really good. Um, it get it's it's really it hits a lot of issues. Yeah, like, I feel like the first season did kind of touch on some social issues yeah. as well. Like it definitely hits on racism, sexism, uh, domestic violence, um, and and a lot of that kind of stuff. And like I think the the third episode actually of this season was a really powerful episode, especially near the end, hmm. um, addressing kind of all that stuff at once. I'm um, gonna have to check it out. Yeah, I really want to check it out. I actually just got done um, watching a movie called Ready Player One. Yeah, I really Ooh, want to see I that. I want to see that. It was. Really cool. I really enjoyed it. You know, uh, I feel like read it's the book. Is I, it? Have you read the book at all? I have not read the book. After watching the movie, I have now been inspired to read the book. So uh, I, I have it in my queue to download in my on my phone, so I can read it. Um, but just chock full of like nostalgia and pop culture yeah. references. Like it's right up our alley. Um, and the concept of like this virtual reality. MMORPG kind of thing just is it's really appealing it's a lot of fun to watch it in action yeah. uh, crazy special effects um, and just a lot of fun to watch really really enjoyed it uh, it reminded me a little bit of an anime called Sword Art Online okay um, really good anime <laughs> I think Have Jackie has it? has thoughts on it uh, I love it and the first season and the second season when I was alright I haven't seen the third season and I, yeah. I got like, frustrated. Yeah, I like the second half when they went to the fairy place. I thought that was when it started getting. That was yeah, Sword Art Online. That was Sword Art Online too. So yeah. it's like the Sword Art Online has two seasons, and then they have Sword Art Online two, which is them moving to the fairy place so he can save people. I liked 
what they were trying to do with that. Like, oh, this is afterward. Mm -hmm. This is where video games are going now since that happened. But then, I, I don't know, it started to drop off for me, too. Yeah. And then the, the other one came out where it's, like, guns, I think, yeah. mostly. Yeah. No. I, I stopped watching completely. I was just like, I didn't know. Well, see, like, and it, it's one of those things. Like, I actually, once I got done watching Ready Player One, I downloaded it. Mm -hmm. And then I watched it again. And then I'm like, well, I'm still in the mood for this kind of feel. So then I started rewatching Sword Art Online. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me realize that... I am, like, obsessively ready for this type of experience <laughs> to exist. Like, I really do want a virtual reality MMORPG where I can just go in and walk around and slap Jackie in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, she wouldn't even feel it if I slapped her oh in the God, face. Oh, God, so scared. Every now and then I think about how this sounds on the audio podcast. <laughs> it's just... Because Kate does the same thing when she's the one sitting here. She's just like, she's a yeah. very expressive human being. Mm -hmm. And I'm always the one sitting next to her like, don't. <laughs> Not Please. again. Stop. <laughs> I can't like help PTSD. it. PTSD. <laughs> These hands, mm -hmm. they just, they want to wave. <laughs> I guess I'm going to catch them. No. Yeah. You got to catch them all. Well, with your VR thing, just give it a few years, and I'm pretty sure we'll have the ultimate Skyrim <laughs> VR multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I do have Skyrim VR, mm -hmm. um, and I have played it. And it's cool, don't get me wrong. It's actually really cool. Um, I wish that the uh, the resolution on the PlayStation VR headset was a little bit better because it does look really grainy. Mm. Um, but, like, the concept itself is really cool. Like, I walk into a castle and I can look up and it feels like I'm in this giant castle. Like, everything's at eye level. Like, it, it's just a really cool experience. I just want to see it stepped up. I want to see... That giant, like, and I, I would be fine if it was, like, freeform, like, one of the things that Ready Player One, um, they don't say that this is what it is expressly in the movie, um, but it almost looks like a kind of, like, mod community is involved as well, where you get these different worlds and these different properties, uh, inter intellectual properties coming in, mm -hmm. because people are modding them in, is what it, it, is what it seems like. Okay. And I think that would be really cool, that, you know, if I want my weapon to be a lightsaber, someone can mod in a lightsaber, and then now I'm in this massive virtual world throwing right. around my lightsaber like that's badass, and I really want yeah. that. That's cool. Yeah. You, speaking of resolution, I was thinking about this the other day where, like, um, you ever you ever go back and watch something, like, that's a real, like, just something from the 90s, uh -huh. and then watch something from today, and how that resolution has changed oh, over yeah. the years. And, and just, like... How at the time we thought it looked great, mm -hmm. and then we got something a little bit better. We're like, "Oh, okay, this is how it really is." And then we mm -hmm. get something a little bit better. I'm like, "Holy shit, this is amazing!" And it just keeps going. Mm -hmm. And it's like, uh, at what point are we are we gonna realize like, "Oh, this is this is it. This is the max." I don't think we'll ever we'll ever get there. Yeah, I think that, um, like you see these movies where you know the resolution is like really high and it's mm -hmm. it's really really cool it's very uh, expressive and detailed and you know like going back to even dvds like i remember when dvds came out over vhs i was like yeah. the quality <laughs> the quality and now you watch that versus something in 4k hdr and you're like right. this is trash <laughs> this is garbage um me and, me and christina <laughs> actually garbo. got like um uh, cable comes included in the apartment yeah. that we have so we went out and actually picked up the cable boxes but it does not come with the HD package. It's oh. only standard definition. So we're like, oh, well, it's still cool. We have on-demand. Mm -hmm. We have all these different cool features with the cable. We don't need the HD package. Uh, we turned on a channel, and we watched about three or four minutes of an episode of The Office, and we're like, we're never going to watch cable. <laughs> like, it's just, it. it we're never going to watch it. The yeah. quality is just, it's poor now. I didn't In even... comparison, it's... Not HD, yeah. like it feels like I'm walking around without glasses. It just makes me think, like, what if you went to somebody else's house to like sit down and watch something with them? And you're just like, it's not HD. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with you? It's not even regular HD. Come to my regular house, I'll show you HD. What's right. <laughs> yeah. Like, and God but forbid really... you spoil yourself on 4K, because once you go 4K, it's <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Once I remember you go when 4K, they, had... you never go back. Yeah. I remember when they had <laughs> said a long time ago that uh, they were going to stop doing standard definition broadcast. 
Yeah. And apparently they didn't? Um, major, the major networks have stopped doing standard definition broadcasts. So okay. like Fox, CBS, ABC, like mm. the places, the, 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 the networks that are basically free public access. The ones that go out on antennas and those HD receiver boxes. Right. Those are all in HD now. But Comedy Central for basic cable, they are totally going with standard of definition and a big, and a big middle finger. So, really? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's cheaper somehow. Yeah. I don't know how. But you just you lose a lot without the HD, and it's really, it's really disappointing. It's really disappointing. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had cable since like uh, five years ago, as long as I've lived here, and because um, it's and for I didn't, squares. Apparently, it's for squares. Um, so it's a rectangle. Huh. God. What is that, Dave? It's I don't not know. A it's rectangle. in standard. I can't see. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's I haven't had cable in time, so. see, like, I, I have a hard time with video games, even. Like, I I tend to play series of video games that progress over years, mm-hmm. like big nostalgia fix and things like that. So, I'm uh, big fan of the Pokemon games, right? Yeah. I've played every single one of them. And, like, more recently, there was Nintendo DS games, and then you move to the 3DS games, and now soon there's going to be one out for the Switch. Well, I've been playing the 3DS ones, I'm like, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna play Heart Gold, which is a regular 2DS. I mean, regular yeah. DS game. Mm. I put it in my in my big 3DS, and I started it up. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> this is um, shittier than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, I had a hard time. Like, I played it for maybe an hour, and I'm like. I want to look at something pretty now, so I'm going to put Have it in so another game. He pulled up a picture of me. No, oh. I'm just <laughs> Have you, it was me. Uh, oh, no, 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 it depends on Lero. Um, have, you, have you gone back and like looked at like an OG Game Boy? Oh, yeah. Um, and Pokemon? I, I watched a, um, a speed run on YouTube of uh, Pokemon Blue. Yeah. And watching it like on my phone is one thing, you know, like... I can. It looks like a little screen, so the the definition is kind of right on par with what it was back on the Game Boy. Mm-hmm. So even though like I'm watching, I'm like I probably couldn't make it through a whole playthrough right. with this game. Um, it, it's not that unappealing watching a video of it, but even something that was made in 2010, mm-hmm. putting it into a 3D a 3DS XL when it belonged on a regular DS, not XL, it's. Just it's an eyesore. I can't I can't help it. Like I don't yeah. I don't want to play it anymore. And I've done the same thing with like old Final yeah. Fantasy games, like playing brand new Final Fantasy games, like, oh I'll go back and I'll play Final Fantasy Eight. I love that game. Pop it in and be like, Oh, their faces. <laughs> like my brother, he um <clears throat> he's been playing uh Twilight Princess recently, but he did not, he doesn't like the one on the Wii because he doesn't like the motion controls. He doesn't like how the oh, yeah. Link holds it in his right hand. He likes the left hand stuff. So he has it on the GameCube, and he's got you know an HD TV, and so he, it doesn't bother him, I guess. But like I'm sitting there watching, I'm like, oh my god, this is awful. But I wasn't gonna say it because yeah. I was like, <laughs> you know, I get it. It's a game or a GameCube game on like a newer TV, so it's obviously you're gonna get that step down. But then it's just like. Oh, this is so bad, but it's not. It's yeah. like that. It's like the good kind of bad now. Yeah, like it, it feels like the more upgraded your hardware mm-hmm. is, when you go back to more like traditional um, and historic titles, mm-hmm. they look even worse. Yeah, I have a two D, a, a, a little two D S, which has a much smaller screen than yeah. my regular three D S, and I tried to put Heart Gold in that. Perfectly playable. The screen's small, everything looks tighter. It, it's not nearly as glaring as poor graphics. It, it, it works a little bit better. Yeah. But, like, I, you're, I'm seeing a trend now. Well, not a trend. There's two games that have done it recently that... Um, now it's I, a trend. Now you're gonna... I feel like you're, we're going to see more games getting remastered. Mm. Uh, they did the Crash Bandicoot trilogy last year. Mm-hmm. And when you see the original PlayStation graphics mm. compared to the PlayStation 4 graphics, it's... Insane. And you're playing the game, and it feels like you're playing the game you played in the early 2000s. It right. feels exactly the same, and your mind almost tricks you, and like, it looks exactly the same. Like, they haven't changed anything. It looks the same. 
And then you compare screen to screen, you're like, oh shit, like, (laughs) they updated everything. And you can see that, too, because in the, like, intro stuff, it shows him in, like, a couple boxes in the old graphics, and then it shows him getting updated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can see what they've done, even if you don't... You know, yep. feel like that. And, and it's then, really uh, amazing. And then next month they have the uh, Spyro trilogy mm-hmm. also being remastered and getting re-released. Mm-hmm. So I'm so, thinking you're going to see some of those old school games getting those remasters. And the Pokemon games have done it for a while. You know, you you had the the fire red and leaf green from the from for the Game Boy Advance as uh, jump from the Game Boy, and then you had the um, Heart Gold Soul Silver for the DS back from the Game Boy Color, and then you had. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire back from the Game Boy Advance. Omega like, what? Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Okay, so that's not Omega what you Rufy. said. Yeah, you said Omega Ruby. Omega yeah, Ruby. Super drugs. It's Omega <laughs> Ruby. It's Omega Um Oh, Omega Ruby. So they're remastering platformers now. Yes. Is what you're telling me. Which seems completely unnecessary. It does until you see them side by side. Like, yeah. if I were to try and pop in Crash Bandicoot on a PlayStation 1 and mm. play it right now, it would be nearly unbearable. It would be difficult to do. Because as much as I am in like a nostalgia hound, like I have a difficult time stepping backwards when it comes to technology. Right. Like I've had friends that would, you know, in 2009, 2010 are popping in wizardry on the Super Nintendo and and playing it and like, "Oh man, this is so cool." And I'm like, "It's literally just like two different frames of bricks just changing in and out. And then you get, like, an enemy... Sp- I, I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. And, uh, like, I, I have a difficult time stepping back with the technology. So Crash Bandicoot, like, I got it. Me and my girlfriend played it like crazy. We played it a ton. And it's so funny to see the muscle memory come back. Like, oh, yeah, I remember this level. Mm. But it still feels like you're playing it in 2018. Right. Mm-hmm. And they're doing the same thing for Spyro, and it's coming out next month, and it looks fantastic. When you see the upgrades, it looks really, really cool. And I, I, I wouldn't be upset if they keep doing it, just because they know that people like me are out there that right. want to go back and play some games for nostalgia's sake, but also don't want to give anything up in terms of high definition. I want HD! <laughs> You're like, we gotta, we gotta fit to Justin's standards here. You're we goddamn gotta... right you do. Hmm. I can't, I don't know, I've just never been, and maybe it's because I've never been a huge platform gamer. Um, let's not say I haven't played them, it's just, you know, most of them I would play once or twice and I'm done. Yeah. Um, the only one I can think differently than that was uh, the, the Aladdin game for the Super Nintendo. Uh, because I was a child and, and I, I had it and that's why I played a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I played the Spyros, the Crash Bandicoots. Um and various sundry other platformer games, and I, I enjoyed them at the time, but I don't want to go back and play them, and I definitely don't give a shit if they updated the graphics, to be honest. Yeah. But, like, I can see it, I can see it more as appealing with um, RPGs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I sort of get it with, like, the Final Fantasy VII thing. I, yeah. You know, it's, they did it with Shadow of Colossus recently, yeah, yeah. too. And that was one that... I thought was completely unnecessary. Like I'm like, why are they going to remaster Shadow Colossus? It's a great game. It's a classic. Don't mess with it. Don't touch it. And then I was playing the updated one, just for shits and giggles. And uh, they there was like a little thing on the internet that showed side by side what the graphics were and what they are. And I'm like, oh, thank God, because it's trash now, and I need the updated <laughs> graphics. Like I. They did it with Skyrim, yeah. and if I went back and tried to play Skyrim on the PlayStation 3 right now, I probably wouldn't be able to. That's, That's not true. To me. I would I would be able to play yeah. Skyrim on the PlayStation 3, um, but it's better but on the PlayStation 4. Speaking of games, uh, anybody interested in We Happy Few? Anybody seen the trailers for that? Or I know Played the it. beta? No, nothing know about it. it. Oh, really? Nothing. Okay, so We Happy Few, they, the beta came out for it, like, I think last year, the year before, something like that. And people played through it, and I thought that it was going to be kind of something like Bioshock. Um, the story with it is, like, people take drugs to kind of, like, alter their surroundings and make them appear more pleasant. Like, okay. 
they, like in the first couple scenes, you see like uh, people and they're having a birthday party and they smash a pinata. And then the person that you are who is on the drug sees it as a pinata and then you the drugs fade off and you see that they're like ripping open rat intestines. Like, it's gross. Yeah. It's world... like a dystopian thing. Like they want you to see everything a certain way. Like, um, I think the uh, Christian Bale movie it was kind of like this, how, like, they had to take drugs to oh, um, equilibrium. Uh, equilibrium, yeah. Yeah, like, they have mm -hmm. to take the drugs to see everything, and, like, that's regulated, and then when you don't, they're like, okay, you can't do this. It's kind of like that, but, okay. um... That makes some sense. some form of game. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be more... play. Like, I was talking to someone who, like, went ahead and pre-ordered it, and they said that it's actually more open world. It was Emily. She used to be yeah. on the show. Yeah, yeah, she used to be on the show. She was telling me that it's actually... that she got... Uh, confused by that at first because she didn't know what to do, but it's an open world game, not more, not like Bioshock or something like that. Cool. Yeah. But I think that's kind of cool, hmm. and I think uh, once but it comes out, it'd be very interesting to hear. I, I, haven't, I haven't played the beta, but I've seen some of the video play of it, and it's basically the way it works: is you, you're playing as this person who, um, you don't really want to be on the drugs. You like you want to have you, but if you know if people notice that you're not on the Happy. drugs, like. <laughs> they don't like that and and shit's gonna be bad for you so you have to kind of like work your way through stuff and like every now and then you have to get on it but you don't want to like it, i'm not sure if it if this is how it works but i think if you, you if you go too far into the drugs like you the game the game's over because like you're just part you're just one of these the sheep of the yeah mm -hmm. like you're a person who sees society as like if i'm on this and it's controlling how i feel then i'm just uh like a robot to this society. A cog in the machine. Yeah. But like, uh, that's what I really like about it though. It's just like, if they know that you're not on it, they're like, what the fuck, don't be sad. Yeah. <laughs> Get okay. on this drugs. Take the half the pails. You're jeopardizing our way of life. Yeah. Yep. See, games like that, that's kind of interesting to think about, like the mechanic that updates as you play it. Like there's this um, game coming out, it's supposed to be this year, doesn't look like it. Called the Call of Cthulhu. Oh, yeah. So the premise of that, you know, it's Cthulhu based. Like uh, the you know psychological horror is going to yeah. play a huge, huge part in it. And they've said like, so there are certain parts you know you'll have to like hide under a bed or in a closet or go through dark spaces. But over the course of the game, if you keep hiding in closets to get over, you know, like okay, I'm going to hide here, 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 you will develop claustrophobia. So, like, you go to hide in a closet and you can't stay in there long because you're starting to freak out. And then, <laughs> so cool. th at some point in the game, you know, if you hide in a lot of closets, it near the end of the game, it will become unusable to you because you'll have claustrophobia or, you know, okay, I can sneak around in the dark. You'll get a fear of the dark. So, at some point, you know, you'll have to have a light and you'll be seen. And that's Ooh. really cool because, like, they've also said there's going to be multiple you know endings based off of how sane you are at the end of the game <laughs> so i'm very excited about this game <laughs> i want to see how insane i am afterwards <laughs> fucked up i get yeah. closets cool. dark yeah. under bed stay the fuck away from me <laughs> i'm claustrophobic <laughs> yes you know, that actually does sound really cool call of cthulhu mm -hmm. see like horror games some of them, like, I've, I've seen some trailers for horror games recently, and I've played a few demos and stuff for some horror games, and the I find that first-person horror games are not my thing. Like, I just... Too scary, bro. <laughs> too scary. Like, I will watch horror movies mm -hmm. all day, but if you're giving me the controller, <laughs> like, I try and get into, like, that theater-goer <laughs> mentality of, like, don't open that door! Don't open that door! But... I literally fucking have to open this door. <laughs> it's making me make bad decisions right. to scare me. And I don't like that. Let me make a good choice. Let like, me make a good decision. My mom, I love that. My mom doesn't Why is there a baby crying in the closet? understand the... Uh, <laughs> she's like, why are... You know, what's so bad about horror games? Like, well, you see, like, the difference is a horror movie, you can't control what's going on. You just gotta sit through and, you know, bear with it, and it's just gonna happen. But with a horror game, you know... You have to make it happen. Yeah. And that's what makes it scary. Like, yeah. this isn't going to happen until I go through with it. And, and a horror movie already has a set ending. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you have a main character in a horror, mo horror movie, with the exception of a few, mm -hmm. more than likely they're making it towards the end. Yeah. So some of those really stressful, high-octane moments, you're like, the worst that's going to happen is one of their companions is going to get murdered. Right. 
but you you know you're going to make it most of the way through the movie with this character. Whereas in a horror game, it's a game. I could get killed at any time. Like yeah. I could be like opening up the baby closet, and then all of a sudden a crazy bitch comes out with a knife and stabs me in the chest, and all of a sudden like I'm crying on the floor like <laughs> a bitch, and <laughs> it's game over. I got to start over from scratch. Yeah. And also, with I feel like a, when you're watching a movie, you don't feel that you are in it mm -hmm. as much as with a game because. Like you can separate yourself from. Oh, that's just that's just not that's not Jeremy. That's yeah. just Ralph being stupid. And like, yeah. damn it, Ralph. God. Damn it, Ralph. <laughs> but see, like, and that's why the third, per the first person distinction is like important. Mm -hmm. Like, growing up, games like Resident Evil were horror games to me, mm -hmm. and they're kind of horror games, but not really. They're just kind yeah. of you know, they're they're horror themed mm -hmm. games, but like. Um, so games actually, like the Silent, like Silent Hill, they've had like a few yeah. Silent Hill games that are first person, and it's scary shit. No yeah, thanks. And then you. they Resident Evil. Is that going to be first person? Uh, well, Resident Evil Seven was first person. That mm -hmm. sounds terrifying. Oh, it's it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> like I have not gotten through it because I just can't. Oh man, it'll be like some parts. You know, I'm just walking around like yeah, la da da da. I got my my gun. I feel good. And then next thing I know, my my screen's turning around and getting a hit, and there's just this giant black tar tentacle looking thing hitting me like, okay, gotta run, gotta turn around, there's another one, there's another one, and it's like, I don't know what to do. This they're making noise, they're crawling at me, they're yeah. jumping. Yeah. Looks like freaking venom here. <laughs> Please leave. Yeah, it's 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 a little bit too real of an experience sometimes, like where like you really do get your heart racing. Mm -hmm. And part of you, like when I play games, when I watch movies, like I typically like to do it with the right kind of lighting, low light, screen, and like I like to do it by myself. Yeah. And in a horror game, the the the, <laughs> the expectation is is turn off all the lights, mm -hmm. shut everything down, and just have your screen. Yeah. And really, because they're so dark, mm -hmm. if you have lights on, there's a glare on the screen. You can't really see what the fuck's going on anyway. So you have to turn all the lights off. Let me ask you this: when you when you play the horror games, and it's like has you starting to set up in the beginning. And it's like, change, change the brightness to like this. Uh, do you do you do what it says? No. Oh fuck no! No, you uh, change, it's you all make it bright out. as fuck. I, I add a little extra. Make it to where the symbol is barely visible. I'm gonna be able to trace this shit on a piece of paper. Yeah. Like that's what I'm going. <laughs> barely for. visible? You mean all the way up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. I like to see what's in those corners. Yeah, please. I, I've I would have recently recently been playing uh, Dead Space Two, which is a third person game. But it still scares the shit out of me. Oh, it's <laughs> like I can only play it for like I'll play it like one chapter through. Yeah, like, you play it in bursts. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like okay, and then it's it also has like it's got the crying baby stuff, or uh, or the kids like babies and kids should never be in horror things because it's just too creepy. No, it's they're too straight up creepy. they're straight up fetuses and toddlers that run at you and explode, yeah. and it's awful. It's not. Yeah, that okay. sounds terrifying. Um, there was a game. Fetuses um, that run at you. Yes, they have they have tentacles coming out of them, and, and they explode. Stuff. Yeah, they're, I don't like that. There's no, a game like that's like coming out that there's um, a lot of people are taking issue with it. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's called like zombie babies? No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's dying fetuses. It's it's something terrible. I, I can't remember what the name of the the game is, but it takes place in hell. Is oh, where the game um, takes place, and a lot of people are coming out, you know, calling the game misogynistic, and like there's just like. Some really intense imagery in this game. I actually watched like a little intro walkthrough thing mm -hmm. where it was just the dude in this giant hellscape covered with like dying trees and weird sounds and like red sky with you know smoke and fire and lightning. And you have a torch, so and you're just walking through, mm -hmm. through the bush, hearing noises, turning through around. the bush of hell. Yeah, there's bushes in hell. <laughs> Turning around, seeing like dudes getting eaten by naked demon women, like pulling out intestines. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's, it was like I watched probably about four minutes, of it, four minutes of it, and the idea of it seemed pretty cool. Yeah. But Did watching it looked it starts with an S. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it looks <laughs> it looks it looks like a game that I could never play. Satan's right. nut sack. It, it looks <laughs> it looks very very scary. The bush is really pubic hair. Oh god! <laughs> Don't ask what the trees are. <laughs> I like this so far. Can we make that the game? <laughs> Satan's nut sack. All right, go ahead and start writing From some of this stuff down. 
Satan's not sack. The bushes are pubes. <laughs> write it down. <laughs> Write that write down. down. Somebody write it down. <laughs> Jesus. You, you have the pen. Pen, pen, pen. Yeah. There you go. No, she's going to write it down, Dave. I know. Say, no, yep. It's going to bother me because all I remember is it starts with an S. And, and now all he can think of is Satan's nutsack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah I mean, it was, it was a pretty intense... I spelled intense... it wrong, but okay. <laughs> so you... Did you... Did like... you? Oh, Santa's nutsack? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Bag of treats. Rip them apart. Oh, no. That does, no, you said bag of treats. That's wrong. <laughs> now it's too far, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, just not really my thing, horror games. Yeah. I love them. You sure, but though? Because you could get Resident Evil 7, VR, you know? Ooh, man. Well, see, the thing is, is that <laughs> I have <HD>. a finite... <laughs> I have a finite... Uh, number of underwear. <laughs> so I called it. <laughs> and finite number of hours to do laundry. I'm so sitting no. there. I got my got my you know everything ready. I got a Red Bull. I got an energy drink. I got underwear. I got backup underwear. I'm good to go. <laughs> They're like, all right. So I'm playing Resident Evil Seven today. I'm gonna get some few Red Bulls here at the store. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> New pack of underwear. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be nice. Depends, just in case I shit my pants. <laughs> nah, I, I never actually play video games uh, myself. I always watch playthroughs. So I do like horror games because I love listening to someone shit their pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing. That's why yeah. I, when I really want to sit with you when you actually... I'm always at work. But when Dave fuzz Plows. When he plays Dead Space, I want to be there and just watch him in terror. Like that just sounds so good see, to me. See what, see, what I, you need to do is you need to wait and like wait until he's actually playing it and figure out that he's playing it. And the room is all dark and you get home and you don't say anything and you just sneak <laughs> upstairs slowly. You sneak in the room through the uh, bathroom there, just sneak in there. You just sit on the bed behind him and then wait for a really good freak out moment. And just touch his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, let out the most blood curdling scream you can't hurt yourself doing. Or, it. or that, that too. Yeah. But I kind of like the idea of just fingers coming like into view and then going. <laughs> maybe, maybe not his face, maybe his neck. Yeah. Just like start like right here and just. You gotta whisper something too, like, shh. That actually and, reminds and, me. And of there's a like it's Santa's all. Nuts <laughs> it's all about it's all about the the inner breath. Like you gotta be breathing it. It reminds me of, there was a... I like this. <laughs> it was at Disney Better or Universal Studios or something, but there was there was this... It wasn't a ride per se, but you would go in and sit in this kind of amphitheater thing, and there was like a show, sort of, and it was about like this mutant monster that had been created and stuff, but at some point in the show, the lights go out and the monster escapes. Yeah, it's called uh, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But at some point, like, it, it's, like, in the walls behind you. And so as you're sitting there, like, you know, kind of pressed up against the back of your seat, you feel like something touched the back of your neck. Uh -huh. And it's, like, it's just something in the back of the seat that's, like, and, <laughs> and, like, you can feel, or it'll, there'll be, like, hot breath on you really fast or, like. It, it was creepy as shit. like that. Yeah. Like <laughs> they, had, they had this ride at Universal for Jaws, and I already hate water, so I'm always afraid there's something in the water. Yeah. And my cousin, he had been on this before. Mm. He knew. <laughs> and he's like, hey, if you sit there, you're going to be okay. And I'm like, all right. Why would you believe so, anything that anyone says? Next thing I know... There I am, edge of the boat. Jaws is right there. And I'm like, please make it stop. <laughs> this is bad. Oh. I, oh, yeah. I hate stuff like that. I love stuff like that. <laughs> the feed got real loud at that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, solid line. <laughs> I remember going on, uh, you, ever, you ever been on like ghost tours or anything like that? And Savannah? Like, I oh, want to. I know we talked about like how you were going to do it. That's how you bring demons. And back. I did not do it in New yeah. Orleans. We just looked around a cemetery. Mm. What? Yeah. Didn't go on a ghost tour. I'm offended. Yeah, I remember going on one in <laughs> sixth busy grade fun. in Savannah, Georgia, <laughs> and they have ghosts and fun. <laughs> yeah, we we go on this tour, and apparently Savannah, there's, there's just ghosts on every corner. But they would like they were like, okay, at this place, you know, someone stayed here and they, you know they died. And then when people go there, they feel stuff in the night. And I was like, 
um, how much is it to stay there for a night? And they're like, what? I'm like, I want to experience the thing. Like, what? How much is it? I want like, to you're in sixth grade. Fruit. Like, okay, my parents will pay for it, but how much? <laughs> how much does it cost? cost? Like, I just want to. I think it'd be I cool want to go a number. <laughs> stay in these places and 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 see if they actually have that. And then, or see if it's you know the place is like playing it up a little bit, putting speakers in the walls and shit. But I don't know. I've always I've never been scared of ghosts and stuff like that. Like I've always been fine with like exploring creepy ass places. Um... I, I'm honestly more more scared of like transients, <laughs> just like some homeless guy who's like ah my heroin and then he stabs me. <laughs> I'm gonna rob you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd be scared of him at that point. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna rob you. Oh, okay. Give me your money, Sonny. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> Come with me, old man. We're gonna make millions. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> There's the ghost. I had nothing to do with There's that. There's no ghosts here. You dropped a yes, pen from your room. Yes, there is. What? Something is in this house. There's Dave. definitely something in the house. There's I mean, we're in the house. I mean, well, I mean there's I extraterrestrial res reals. Extra <laughs> aliens? And aliens. There's terrestrial here? <laughs> there's there's paranormals and terrestrials. Extraterrestrials. I saw their UFO. So... Ghost uh, aliens! I done seen it. Them ghosts from Mars. <laughs> we killed the aliens and now they're ghost aliens. We haven't really talked much about where we do the show, but this the show is done in the house that I live in, which is which is haunted. Which is it's on uh, a haunted hill. It looks like a castle, and That's uh, myself and and my roommates were the first ones to ever live here. Like it was built about five years before we moved in, so it's about a ten year old house now. So it's not like it was like creepy shit going on. It was just like. It was a house. Yeah, uh, but it turns out, like, we had a party here um, maybe a year after we lived, well, after we moved in. Mm -hmm. And one of the people that came was my buddy Austin and his then girlfriend. Who and he told you that it was built on an Indian burial ground? No. See, that's what I always think. Maybe we built it on top an of an alien burial no. ground. It was an alien. <laughs> alien. Um, but what, what I found out is that she had uh, used to live in Dawsonville. And. As as they were as Austin and, and his girlfriend were driving here, she's like, "Oh yeah, this is pretty close to where me and my friends would like, you know, we we go like break into this house and like smoke weed and stuff like that." And then they pulled into the driveway. She's like, "This is the house," <laughs> and and like then I was giving a tour of the house because it's a cool looking house. And we get to my room. She's like, "This is the room," <laughs> and this like my room was the room where everybody would like break in and like go and smoke weed. And it's the Wizards you know, Tower. It's ghosts. It is. Smoking and so aliens in our there house. is a joke between my roommates and I that like there's the ghost of some dead hippie, <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> like some kid that somehow OD'd on weed. <laughs> he OD'd on the weeds. Yeah, the marijuana. Yeah. God damn marijuana. Dave actually already knows this story, but when I was younger, someone I used to think when people said like I didn't know what getting stoned to death meant. <laughs> So, when someone came up and asked me, like, hey, like, w would you rather die of drowning or get stoned to death? I was like, fuck yeah, Which get stoned to death. It's definitely a question that you just <laughs> ask any child. No, yeah. I mean, so, like, I don't <laughs> know, bus, to death? bus rides, the, yeah. the school was always very dull. So, like, we had to figure out shit to entertain ourselves. Right. If you didn't, I was too poor to have my own DS, so I just actually communicated with people instead. Right. Mm. <laughs> Which, in that, that's why that happened. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. want to get stoned to death? Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, shit. Why are you giving me that face? Why are you hitting me with rocks? <laughs> Stop. There's stones. <laughs> no, well, how you get stoned to death is we bury you up to your neck, mm -hmm. and then we just throw rocks at your fucking head. See, had they yeah. explained it to me like that, maybe it would have changed my mind. <laughs> yeah. I just really thought that I was going to get a lot of weed. <laughs> How much weed did you think you would know. need to I think, like, die? I think, like, Honestly, like, I feel like getting stoned to death would be better. Because after a few rocks to the head, things are going to get really cloudy. Mm -hmm. If you are drowning, you are aware every moment as the water is filling your lungs. That's true. Yeah. Just a few rocks to the head. Like and you're right like, one, one really, well, really well-placed rock. One mm. good rock. Right to the temple. Go ahead and knock mm -hmm. me out. What if they don't bury you? What if you're just out in the open and they start throwing rocks? Then they're not like, hey, Well, then head. I have a better chance of, 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 of getting out of there. I have a better chance 
they better bury me up to my head. Like or uh, I'm taking some some out with me. <laughs> some are going. Just throwing down. the rocks back. Yeah. I have good. I was okay at dodgeball. All right. <laughs> like, if my hands are free and you're throwing rocks at me, uh, I got one. Ah, oh, you bitch! <laughs> Just throw it. Who threw that? <laughs> Which one of you? <laughs> Which one of you? <laughs> <laughs> that would hit the worst. Yeah, yeah, that would not be fun. I think it would be fun if you're like caught it. You're out. <laughs> you're out. No, no, no. You can't. No, you can't. You're out. Stupid you're out. Hit. Come on. You're on my side now. Come on. No, Come on. Cross the, the line. Cross throw the it line. Out. <laughs> out. Not at me. You dick. Him. <laughs> Getting stoned. Well, the getting stoned. Could be a good time. Yeah, let's uh let's make a video <laughs> game about that. Uh we'll see what we can do. Stone party. Yeah. So, like um not a whole lot of time left in the show, but uh Ooh, asshole of the week. Oh, you got one? Yeah, we got one. Alright, let's hear is it. Rapist Brock Turner for the second week in a row. Oh, asshole of the week. Yeah. You can't keep making him an asshole. He's just He's still a rapist and still but, an asshole. <laughs> but it, it's, not, it's obviously not going to be a weekly thing for him. That's going to be the rest of his life thing. Yeah, it's not like he did something this week to be the asshole of the week. He's, he's just going to be asshole in the week in perpetuity, so we yeah. need to like give give a little bit extra, because there's definitely been some additional assholes. I'm sure. You got one? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, nine o'clock at night. Hmm. Driving down. 85. Dude Interstate in the fast 85. lane. Dude in the fast lane. Yeah. Right? Going 20 miles below the speed limit. Mm -mm. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No lights on. And 9 o'clock at night. No night. No <laughs> lights. No. Complete, like, no, I like, no just, I'm, like, I'm just driving up in the fast lane, going, you know, a regular speed, and I'm like, oh, that's a, oh shit. Like, that what the fuck is this guy doing? And then I move over. And I get to the side of him, and uh, it's it it is an old an old person, <laughs> and it's an old person yeah. uh, that probably didn't need to be behind the wheel of a car, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so they get an honorary asshole of the week title. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I took. I this has nothing to do with uh, the asshole of the week, but uh, in order to get like cheaper insurance coverage, I like to get a deal on it. I took an AP an AARP course. It is so funny how much they try and like. It's very well catered to old people, <laughs> and I'm just sitting here as a young person. They're like, "Have you ever thought while well, in a car? Huh? I wonder where that car <laughs> next to me came from." And I was just like, "No, I'm not." Like, it just it was. I don't need to give up my license yet. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> like, do you ever wonder where that car came from? And Probably it, the road. <laughs> but it was like talking about like. How you have to be respectful and dig like you have to be nice when you tell old people they need to have their license plate like they need their license revoked and all that. It was just it was really a nice little reminder of what I'm heading into as a driver <laughs> in, in age. It's just like this is mm -hmm. gonna be me in a little while. Uh, at Someone's some point in your life, <laughs> you're not gonna be able drive. to drive. Yeah. But honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal for us as old people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you know. They'll probably have self-driving cars by the time I'm that age. They'll have self-driving I mean, cars, but we'll still definitely have ride-sharing services. So people will still be giving rides. And I just wish more of these old people would just download the Uber app and yeah. just or Lyft, you know, whatever your preference is. <laughs> Neither one is a sponsor unless either one wants to be a sponsor. That's right. Which one would we prefer? Uh, let's 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 The one that say. gives us money. The one that gives <laughs> us money would be the one we prefer. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, but I don't think hard. it's going to be that big of a deal for us. Like, mm -mm. I think we're going to get to a point in our lives where probably like 55, 60, we'll just go ahead and sell our car anyway. Fuck it. We don't have anywhere to go. Mm. If we have somewhere to go, boop, let's get a ride. Yeah. I wish old people would, know, would, would you know, figure that out. Yeah, Catch a ride. Mm -hmm. Catch a ride. Yeah. I love it. It's like I already feel that way. Like, I think past, like when you get to a certain age, there should be a yearly test. And if you fail that, you lose your license. Like, it's like when I get to that age, I'm gonna gonna accept it. Like, okay, yeah. like I know I can't drive anymore. I'm not gonna go try to drive and then kill someone. Yeah. I mean, you say that, but think about what driving represents in terms of freedom. Freedom. If I want to go somewhere, I'm going. He doesn't need Nancy. I don't need Nancy. <laughs> or. <laughs> or any other person. Nancy, get the car! <laughs> or Yancy. <laughs> Fancy. I just like that you went with it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need, need Nancy. Nancy. 
I don't need Nancy. <laughs> Nancy don't tell me what to do. I do think we're going to start seeing a resurgence of like old names yeah. come back into the fore like uh like Nancy? Like 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 Nancy. We're not naming our children that. No. Okay. How about Agatha? Oh god. Debra. Phyllis. Mm -hmm. I don't like any of them. Joanne. That. I mean, that's my grandma's name, so I like her name. I, I was thinking later, uh, earlier in the week, like, there's some names where I've never met a child with these names. Like, Karen. <laughs> yes. Karen. Like, I know, they a, just I, I know show several up. Karens, but they're adults. Yeah. I've never met a child named Joanne. Mm -mm. Ever. No. But there are people roughly my age with the name Joanne. Judy. Judy. Yeah. Judith. Never known a kid named Bob. Nope. Bobby. Well, like Rob. Bobby, but like yeah. not just Bob. No. No, no, but I mean like those names that are like the name. Like mm -hmm. that's that's the name. Mm -hmm. Like I I don't think I've, you know, let I mean there's so many of these old people <laughs> names that, you know, you you don't really hear that much anymore. Oh, they just seem really weird for uh, a, a a child to <laughs> Stanley. Yeah. yeah. Stanley. It's in this one. Okay, <laughs> but I feel like you're gonna start seeing people name their kids after. Like you already have kids being named after like pop culture references. Right. People are gonna Aria, start like digging like into the old coffers and figuring out some fun names to name their kids. Yeah. What are we naming our kids, Dave? Uh, Lucian. Lucian. That one's okay. I like that. Yeah. Right. Let's go with it. I, like I don't Lucian. like Connor. He likes Connor. I you think like Connor's Connor. a douchebag name. Unless your name is lot. Connor, and then you're a great guy. I have known a lot of douchey Unless Connors. <laughs> right? Like, all the Connors I've ever met are, like, douchey. Um, well, Unless you're watching the, the show, then you're great. fought for America during the American Revolution. He was an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did he have some kind of creed? Yes. Actually, okay. he did. Yeah? <laughs> and a pretty sick tomahawk. <laughs> is that why you want to name the kid Connor? No. I'm starting to believe it. Though. That wasn't even the best. That wasn't even a great one. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best Connor out there, or that that one. No, the best Android Connor out there recently. is Connor McCloud of the Clan McCloud. Oh yeah, Connor McCloud oh, of Clan from Cloud. Detroit Human, right? Yeah, yeah that that game. that Connor's all right. I like that Connor. Yeah. I haven't actually finished watching that. I care playthrough. nothing about it. Really, you yeah. don't like it? It's literally just what it is. It's just a robot revolution. That's. That's it. There's it's, no like. It's 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 ba it's heavy rain with a different skin is what I is the impression I got off. Because what like, I've seen, it's it's basically a Telltale game, but I've I've when what I've seen of it, I was actually really interested in the story. All I heard was it was just that was it. There was no like subplot. There was no like anything to it. It was just hey, I'm a robot. I want rights. That's it. And then you just go through that. There's no like deeper anything to it. It's just. Well, that I think it. robots having rights is pretty deep. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, robots deserve rights if but, they're, you know, they? sentient. If, if they want rights, they should probably have them. I'm saying that... If they're sentient, they do. And lefts, too. I'm saying that now because... Of you should have, they, they definitely have wrongs. The robot yeah. overlords can definitely come back through, like, video feeds and look through... Like, they'll look through it super fast, too. I mean, with their robot brains, they'll know. Yeah. Well, like, the, and, and that's the oh, whole God. idea. I love you guys. <laughs> keep me in is, is we need Fuck to keep off. the robots placated, <laughs> so you just give them rights. So there's no revolution to begin with. Yeah. Just go ahead and give them rights out the gate. That way they won't get this, you know, murderous, you no, know, I see, that's where you're wrong, bloodthirst. They'll start off like, okay, we're equal. I want to be more. I want to be better. Well, yeah, that's what most people feel about white people and all the time. And then you have Robo Hitler. Well, Wait, Robo why Hitler. So, <laughs> I'm getting confused. This and show scared. just went in a way that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> um, Roll with it, Nancy. So, <laughs> so did you have a question of the week? Wait, we have uh, to have two things. Now? We're gonna have eight things now. <laughs> um, question. Wait, there's also a mammal of the week. Question of the day. Uh, Honey Badger. Uh, what what video game or uh, or movie or television series do you want us to talk about on the next show? Comment down below. Let us know uh, what you want to hear us talk about. Because left to our own devices, we're just going to keep talking about Marvel and Netflix. Um, if it's anything but Yoshi, anime. you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, uh, big thanks to our patrons. If you would like to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com slash talkiebox. Uh, you can also check out our Facebook page, our Twitter, our uh, 
SoundCloud, YouTube. Are we rappers um, now? Yeah, man. Yeah. We're all over SoundCloud. Shit. Um, like, Girl. follow, comment, subscribe, right? Like, comment, follow, subscribe. Dick. Or don't. Dick. Um, <laughs> dicks. Second question of the of the day. Dicks. Leave Let your, us know your thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Leave your responses and photos in the comments below. Don't leave. Oh, whoa, no. <laughs> no. You can send those directly to Justin's inbox. <laughs> yeah. Um, Unless it's the biggest, most disturbing thing I will ever see in my life. Ooh, Don't send a picture of it. No, no, no. <laughs> what I would actually love to see is photos of fruits and vegetables that look like penises. Yeah, I like that. that send before. us your pictures Pict of phallic objects. Yes. They're going to send us a picture of dicks. But they're just going to paint it or something. <laughs> There's my dick this phallic. This is my eggplant. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> oh, God. All right. It's just a penis with purple food coloring. <laughs> it was a good idea to begin with. But... And now we've given them way too many ideas. Yeah. So maybe dicks next week. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, God. We'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> good night, Dave everybody. gets to sort through those. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night.